Welcome back to Harry Potter Conspiracy. We're going to go over the top 6 most deadly magical creatures in Harry Potter. Stick around till the end of the video if you want to hear where JK Rowling invented the names of the Hogwarts houses. Now, on with the video. Yes, Dementors are technically classified as non-beings, but they play such a large role in the Harry Potter franchise that it seems a shame not to include them on this list. They are beings that feed off of human happiness and are widely considered to be one of the foulest things to inhabit the wizarding world. They are capable of sucking out light and happiness, and according to Dumbledore, they are vicious creatures. For years, they served as guards of the wizarding prison, Azkaban. They take away re remaining hope and happiness in the prisoners. According to Remus Lupin, if a wizard is close to a Dementor for a long time, he has the capability of draining a wizard of their powers. They are also capable of performing the Dementor's kiss, where the Dementor literally sucks out the person's soul, leaving a heart in an empty shell, and giving the witch or wizard no possible way of recovery. Number 5. The Basilisk is a giant serpent also known as the King of Serpents. They are actually bred by dark wizards with the first one being created by hatching a chicken egg beneath a toad. Whenever a victim looks directly into the Basilisk's eyes, it results in instant death. However, looking at the Basilisk through a reflection results in the victim becoming petrified. The Basilisk's gaze could even petrify a ghost like we saw with Nearly Headless Nick. Its venom is extremely poisonous and only has one known antidote, Phoenix Tears. The Basilisk's venom is so powerful that it can kill a wizard in minutes, making the person drowsy and giving them a blurry vision before they die. The poison could also damage things so thoroughly that they are impossible to destroy, just like Horcruxes. Number 4. The Chimera is an incredibly dangerous beast with a lion's head, a goat's body, and a dragon's tail. It resides in the country Greece. According to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the Chimera is also vicious and bloodthirsty. There's only one case where a wizard defeated one, but he died soon after because he was so exhausted and fell off his winged horse. In 1987, Professor Kettleburn re repeatedly said that Chimera had escaped and was in the Forbidden Forest. Hagrid also mentioned that it was very difficult to get a Chimera egg, presumably because he wanted to use them for his Care of Magical Creatures class. Bad idea, Hagrid. Number 3. Dragons Dragons are awe-inspiring and yet terrifying. They are found all over the world and are easily some of the most dangerous and hard-to-conceal creatures in the wizarding world. Unless you are highly skilled and trained, Newt's commander advises everyone else to avoid these creatures. The most dangerous dragon breed was the Hungar Hungarian Horntail, which Harry faced in one of his challenges in the Goblet of Fire. A Horntail could be up to 50 feet in length and eats humans whenever possible. Number 2. The Nundu is a large magical beast that resembles a leopard and comes from East Africa. It's considered to be the most dangerous creature alive. Its breath is so potent it can wipe out entire villages of people. The Nundu is also extremely hard to control. It's never been defeated by less than 100 wizards working together. Compare this to the 10 wizards used to control the Hungarian Horntail. The prospect of this rare beast becomes truly terrifying. However, Newt's commander had a Nundu in his travels to New York. This contradicts what we know about its breath, but this beast is insane, and if you need a hundred wizards to control it, it deserves number two. Number one, the most dangerous of all these fantastic beasts is none other than the Lethifold, also known as the Living Shroud. It looks like a black cloak and travels by gliding along the ground at night. It's only about a half inch thick, but it can appear thicker if it's just eaten. It kills its victims by suffocating them as they sleep. According to Scamander, it leaves no trace of itself or its victims behind. There's really no way to know how you have been killed by a leth lethifold. It means you could always be left wondering if someone disappeared or was eaten by a lethifold. The only way to stop a lethifold is the Patronus charm, but if you're sleeping, that might be hard to conjure. Luckily, it is rare and only lives in tropical climates. That one makes chivers, chills run up your spine. Thank you for watching, and J.K. Rowling invented the Hogwarts house on a barf bag. Pretty crazy, right? Well, see you guys in the next one. Peace.